24 cycles. Hi. The car manufacturers have done a pretty good job integrating electronics into their cars, such as sat-nav, audio, video, Bluetooth, nicely integrated with a centralised control system and often a display built in. But this is still at the moment limited mostly to the more expensive models. What if you have a car and you want to add something that's well integrated, easy to control, but an aftermarket fit? There are a number of incredibly well specified units now available that will give you this kind of one piece integration. I'm looking now at one from Clarion, the NZ501E, which is a single DIN with a slide out touch screen, sat nav, DVD, CD, tuner, Bluetooth and so on. <laughs> it basically does just about everything you'd want. They also have a two DIN version which comes with a 6.2 inch screen and that's the NX501E. With a unit as complex as this one, the one thing you will need is some good information to help you get your head around it. And Clarion, rather than go and put everything on a CD, print not one but two manuals. One is the general user guide and installation guide, and the other one is specifically on how to use the sat-nav. Now I like this because there's nothing like sitting down and reading a book rather than having to load a CD each time you want to quickly check something, especially if you're in the car. A lot of manuals are not that easy to get your head round, but this one's pretty good because they use a lot of the icons and images that you'll see on the screen of the unit itself. So here's how the unit would normally look when it's switched off. And there's just a faint red illumination here on the power button. And the screen here will light up and come, in this case, onto FM. LCD dot matrix display. If we press the open button, Voila. And then if we want to get the menu up, because this will go into the FM screen that we had already selected, you then get the various options that this unit will give. So the main menu screen that comes up shows you six options, tuner, Bluetooth audio, the auxiliary one input and so on. This is a touch sensitive screen and it has this flick ability so you can just flick across and it gives you another six options and now you've got a digital TV tuner, you've got DVD disc, you've got uh, USB video so you can play MP4 files off a pen drive and so on. Keep going and you've got navigation and you've got the telephone function. Go into telephone for example. Now I've paired my Nokia N70 so that's coming up. Nice big buttons to select. And of course you've got a contact form. As it paired, it automatically downloaded across my contacts from my N70. The built-in Parrot Bluetooth module allows you to connect a phone, both for hands-free use or for streaming audio. Select Bluetooth set up the phone and it will look to connect. I have to put the passcode in which is the default one two three four and press OK. Now it's waiting to pair with the unit. Press yes to authorize the pairing. The unit's now connected and it shows it's connected on the display. So using my Nokia N70, if I select one of the tracks that I've got on here, this is a bit of a demo, we go Whitney Houston, and there you go. This item is the GPS antenna for the sat-nav, and it's magnetic, so it'll fit just about anywhere, and you'd put it typically on the rear shelf or on the dashboard, on the top of the dashboard. Clarion have opted not to require speed pulse connection for their navigation. That means easier installation, quicker installation, and therefore less costly installation. The only downside could be that uh, in city centres, areas of high-rise buildings and so on, you can occasionally lose GPS reception, and the speed pulse will help to track the vehicle's position because it monitors the speed of the vehicle and along with the gyroscope will position it. However, it's not a big issue because for the most part you'll only lose the GPS signal for a very short amount of time and in extreme conditions only. The NX501E and the NZ501E we're looking at here are both supplied with mapping 
This is the European model that we're reviewing and therefore it comes with Western European mapping but also a lot of coverage for Eastern Europe, basically all the way up to the Russian border and even including down to Turkey. So you're covering, for example, Latvia, Hungary, Romania, Czech Republic, Montenegro, a lot more than you'd usually get, certainly with most of the portable sat-nav units. The mapping is supplied by Teleatlas, and one of the features of this Clarion unit is that it incorporates text-to-speech, or TTS, now TTS voicing actually spells out or reads out the names of streets, for example, or places that you're visiting. And the TTS voices that come supplied ready to run with this one being a European model include obviously English and French, German, Portuguese, Polish, Italian, Spanish, Swedish, even Catalan and Dutch are on here. In addition to the TTS voices, which interact with the mapping in real time and spell out the street names and the town names, there are pre-recorded voices in a lot of language packs. The NZ501 comes with an excellent 7-inch touch screen, very easy to use. Press menu on the navigation side and find. Find an address and put in where you want to go. You can see it's quite a big keyboard. My fingers are, believe me, are not particularly thin. This is very easy to use. And one of the other nice features is it has built-in traffic messaging. It will scan the, the FM tuner stations to see if there is a message traffic channel and will update in real time the mapping to show any delays on the route. Within the navigation section are a lot of extra features, too many for us to really cover here now, such as trip monitor, fuel consumption, points of interest and so on. Very extensive. OK, if we go back to the main menu, we can explore some of the other functions. We can select Tuner. And because the screen is touch interactive, we can scroll down here and then fine-tune the station we want to find. And of course we have preset stations that we can select. Now if we take a CD, pop it into the slot, the unit will automatically switch to CD mode. Read the tracks and place them on the display. We can then simply select the track that we want to play. And of course all these functions can be selected either with the remote control or with the screen closed using the standard controls here. There are several ways to connect external audio and video players to this unit. It has built-in compatibility with iPod and iPhone. You'll just need an extra cable if you want to take the video to the unit and you can plug in a USB pen drive so if you have tracks on a USB stick no problem you can plug that in and you control it from the main menu with USB audio here iPod audio here or for the auxiliary input you can select the front and it will play quite happily anything that you temporarily plug into the front of the unit the quality of the 7 inch screen on the NZ501 is extremely good and the DVD quality is excellent. Touch the screen and it gives you the controls for selecting you know, the various functions available on the DVD. We go back up to play and hit OK and it will go into play mode. And of course everything is available via the remote control as well. So rear passengers have full control. Now there is of course a safety requirement that if you're driving a car you mustn't be looking at a DVD. Clarion have built in a security function that disables video playback unless a particular cable is connected to the ground and they suggest the ground of the lamp that indicates that the parking brake is actuated. It's a green cable and that has to be connected otherwise you'll get that message and no video showing. With the beautiful 7 inch screen stored back inside the unit, it looks quite understated. It's something I like and is certainly a plus for security. 
The navigation mapping information is stored on an 8GB SD card or micro SD card and that's inserted right on the edge of the display. There's a bunch of cables at the back with a lot of connection options. You've got four channel line out, two separate subwoofer outputs, you've got video in, audio in, and one of the other things you've got built into it is the ability to have two zones set up, front and rear. So on here, it'll go to rear source. Now you can set up a source, so for rear passengers they can have their own feed. Now if you have optional rear monitors installed, for example, in the headrests for the rear passengers, and they can be set to the rear zone. That allows the passengers to watch, for example, the DVD or perhaps video from the iPod while you're listening to music at the front. The unit also has compatibility with steering wheel remote control built in so you can add an interface and it has an external microphone connection for use with the hands-free Bluetooth module. One of the other features you may have spotted as I was flicking through the various menu screens is the fact that you can collect a rear view camera for parking. Now you'll find the NZ501E and the NX version in the UK for around £799. That sounds a lot of money, but this is an incredibly well spec unit. It has everything. You can play video, you have sat now built in, it will do your phone, it will do the audio, it has everything. Now when you think about it, go back a few years, well you couldn't even get this technology, <laughs> but what you would buy with £799 was a pretty decent CD player and tuner, and that was it. Now the integration you've got here is amazing in itself. It means that you can add an aftermarket system into a car and have the kind of integrated electronics that you would get from a top line car from the factory. Um, it has steering wheel control interface, so if the car has that facility you can get an interface cable and work the unit, at least a number of the functions, from the steering wheel controls. But obviously there's so many functions, you're going to be using the display for a lot of them, and that's a much easier way of doing it. It's an amazing unit. I mean, I can't really say anything better than I'd certainly want to buy one, because I think it's amazing.